How's it going, everybody? So you probably realize that um, a lot of these uh, videos I've compiled over the last year and only now have decided to maybe post them on YouTube. So I didn't really narrate them properly. Um, I just put a lot of content on my phone, saved it all and got on with business, got on with the work of the project at hand. So um, I guess this will have to do for now until I bring you up to speed with where we're at. Uh, but you can see we picked up a trailer November, so almost a year to a, a year around this month, uh, just before Christmas last year, which would have been 2020. Uh, paid $400 for this piece of crap, and I dug down into under the floor and found. Um, I knew that if the frame was good, I'm, I'm good to go because the sides are made of aluminium, uh, and the frame was made of steel. But the beauty of this trailer was one, it was only $400. I talked him down from 500 to 400. Two, um, it was a winter edition back in, the, in 1972, so the complete underneath was covered in smooth aluminum, which protected it from all the salt of the road. Um, it made for a great nesting for rats, as you'll find out. Um, but when I dug, I found it was so rotten inside, the two skylights had been open for years and just the rain had been pouring in, so it was disgusting in there. Um, and when I got, I got a pocket knife and I dug down through the floor and, and found the frame and the frame still had the primer on it. So I knew we were good as far as structural. I wasn't interested in finding a rotten trailer as far as metal work goes. Uh, the woodwork, I was totally prepared uh, to gut it for $400, got nothing to lose. Um, so uh, yeah, so this time lapse you see is uh, me and Amelia and Gabriel, my two youngest, uh, setting to work as soon as it was pulled into the driveway, we just started gripping and ripping. And uh, the two kids helped me, and uh, it was a little sketchy, throwing sledgehammers, things flying everywhere, small space. Uh, but one thing with me is that when I get into a project, I'm a little bit of a bull in a china shop. So enjoy the time lapse. So there you go, made quick work of it. If only real work was time lapse speed. Uh, but that was about a day of uh, ripping. And uh, you can see the next day uh, we had to rent a, a big bin and we filled it to overflowing. Uh, and amazing how much comes out of that little thing. But uh, uh, one of the hardest parts of, of ripping this trailer apart is that they're, the way they're built is layer on layer. So you have a, um, I think they I think they buy the frame of the trailer, like a, like a bed you know, drive it in probably to a heated place. Then they put the plywood on top that goes over all around and then they build the walls on top of the plywood and then the roof on top of the walls. And so when you're trying to dissect it all and not tear the walls apart, you have to pull it out from underneath the walls without affecting its structure. And you can see I had some challenges coming up here, but um, getting the inside, you know, the main, the cabinetry was actually quite difficult because they build these things to not vibrate apart. Um, they're stapled and joined with these rubber kind of connectors uh, so that when you drive them down a, a logging road, they're not going to rattle apart. So it was actually more difficult than it seems to actually yank that stuff apart, even though it was rotten. Anyway, um, hope you um, are enjoying this journey. It's, uh, it's going to be fun and um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I guess that's what you do. And um, yeah, we'll see you around.